Um, so I want to know like what your ratio of like oats, like I literally, I did one at a time. So what I did is I just had like maybe two tablespoons of oats. And then I just put like maybe a tablespoon of the sweet. And then I just, just dabbled the cinnamon on it. That's how I did oh, it. Wow. Yeah. Okay. All right. So it's hard to, sorry, I didn't measure, but maybe this time around, I'll think of the measuring, but it's like two, probably two to one. Okay. With the oats and the syrup, and then maybe like a fourth of, or, or even less than the cinnamon. Because your cinnamon doesn't take a lot. Yeah, a yeah, little yeah. Bit. yeah. Yeah. It's very So it's warm. probably two to one to give it the real sweetness and, um, yeah, gooey, because it gives a little bit of gooeyness too. Okay. All right. Yeah. So for those watching live or on the replay, we're, we're, well, we're already talking online? about, oh, hey. yeah, we're streaming. Yeah. We're okay. talking about um, a dessert involving a peach that will taste like a peach cobbler. Um, but Daniel fast compliant. So, um, we'll be, we'll be publishing that soon. We're just kind of doing some, some more recipe testing on that. Um, so I can't wait cause it's peach season. So we gotta, we gotta have a peach recipe. Yes. With this guys, this peach cobbler recipe, or it, it's because it's peach season. You honestly, I'm almost thinking this is going to be my dessert at you know, going forward for a while because, yeah. <laughs> you know, you can make one if you just want to do half, throw it in your air fryer or throw it in your oven. I think the air fryer is just convenient. Or you can even make a bunch of them for like a barbecue and you just pop a whole like, you know, eight peaches in there and do them individually and everybody has their own. Yeah. You got instant peach cobbler without the hassle. Yeah. And, and you chopping cut, peaches. And you just cut them in half, take the pit out, right? Yeah. I and cut it in half. Put the filling on top. And stuff the, yeah. And then, and then pop them in. Air fryer, you said 350 or 360? 360, 360 or even the oven, 360. But I did the air fryer because, but again, it's going to work the same with the oven. Um, yeah. yeah. So you could do it like I did it for 15 minutes. But if you okay. like, more crunchy like if you like your topping a little more crunchy you could even go for 20 right. but i would take 15 minutes and then when you start to see it really getting brown and caramelized you just uh -huh. pop them out i bet it smells amazing too when it does it smells amazing and it tricks your taste buds because i didn't know what to expect when i was tasting but when i taste i'm like oh my gosh just like it just everything says to your brain peach cobbler that's yeah. all i can say yeah that's yeah. it yeah well, that's awesome yeah, because you're not putting any butter or oil or, you know, flour. Sugar, you know, flour. Yeah, you're just None like, of that. Yeah, yeah. So you're, you probably reduce the calorie content by a good, you know. 90% like maybe. Because yeah, remember, yeah. for each one, if and the thing is your serving size, you just become content with the one serving size. You're not going to go back and, you know, pop in four more peaches. So it's right. your serving size. Plus, um, it's only like a couple tablespoons of, of oats. Yeah. Yeah. For serving. Yeah. So it's, it's not even, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, even like, if you ate two, even if you ate two, call it maybe four, three and a half. Right. If you stretch it over between the two of them, you can right. easily eat two of those, like a whole peach. Uh -huh. And there's no stress there. Oh, that sounds good. Okay, I'm, I'm whipping those up tonight. Um, yeah. So, okay, so today we are cooking jackfruit jambalaya. So we're recipe testing. There's actually a recipe in this cookbook called Sweet Potato Soul. And um, we're modifying it because this recipe calls out for things that aren't a part of our program, like oil, for example. Um, and I think there might be some sweetener included in yeah. here. I can't remember. But anyway, we're making this um, a little more figure friendly um, and we will uh, see how this goes and whatever we come up with, we'll of course publish it on danielsplate.com. So, and, and for those of you that subscribe, you'll get an email as soon as we get it posted and published. Um, so be on the lookout for that. All right, so um, so this recipe um, calls for, there's a bunch of ingredients with this. This is not, yeah, I wouldn't call this an of, easy. Yeah I, would, around them. yeah, I would not call this an easy recipe, but um, you know, who doesn't like some jambalaya? Yeah. Um, so, so kind of where this comes from, Cersei, is you're the inspiration because you came on live, you did this jackfruit, you know, slicing and, tasting and all of that 
And I, you know, I wanted to do that with you, as you know, and yeah. I couldn't, there were no jackfruits anywhere in my neck of the woods. So I'm up here in the Pacific Northwest. Um, I live on an island and we've got two grocery stores. Well, I'll say two and a half because there's a little market over by the ferry that has, you know, basic stuff, but it's not like a real, like full on, like a Kroger or Walmart type store. Yeah. And so I, um, so anyway, so she did it and um, came up with a beautiful salsa from that mm -hmm. along with, um, and we've, we also have in the hopper some tacos that will accompany that salsa, which yeah. we'll, we got in the queue for a later date. But, yeah. um, but so then we were like, okay, well, let's figure out what we can do with canned jackfruit. So um, this is a young jackfruit. Whereas the one that Cersei cut open, that was actually like a, a mature or ripe um, jackfruit. Um, yeah. Had a beautiful like orange color, like a beautiful mango wood. And um, it just looked so sweet and juicy and yummy. Yeah, and it was, it definitely was. So now the jackfruit, the young jackfruit in the can, I'm gonna try to hold this up so you can see it. This is a chunk mm -hmm. of what it looks like here. And it comes usually in a brine. Now, the thing with the brine is because, um, you know, we're all about the health, you know, this brine has a lot of sodium in it. So what we yeah. do, which, which is different than what the recipe calls for, rinse is it. we rinse it, we drain it, we rinse it, we get as much of the salt off as we can to lower the sodium level um, in the meal. Now, I did find out, Cersei, that there is a, a no salt added jackfruit, but it's not easy oh. to get. Yeah. Oh, I, where, did you, where is that at? I, I actually went to um, Native Forest's website and mm -hmm. they have it listed as one of their products, but oh. unfortunately I couldn't see where to buy it. Um, you know, maybe if I look really, really hard, I'll, I'll figure out how to get, get it. But, yeah. Um, I wasn't able to for this round. So, okay. So anyway, so the first part of the instructions basically tells you to um, shred the jackfruit. So when you do, you get this kind of pulled chicken, pulled pork kind of texture with it. And so you just use a fork to shred it and you just go in a big bowl and you just kind of pull it apart and shred it. Yeah, and then what I find is that when you get to the ends of the jackfruit, it's a little more solid, like it's not as shreddable as the top. And so right. what I do, I shred it as much and then I just take a knife sometimes and just kind of mince it up a little bit. Easy way yeah. just to, so that you don't waste any of it, even though it's not as shredded looking. Yeah, yeah. and you don't have really huge chunks in your- in your Yeah, so you just kind of just chop it a little bit with a knife, just, you know, and just to kind of get it separated a bit and you're good to go. Yeah, yeah. So, um, so the first thing after you um, shred the jackfruit, um, you want to preheat a large pot over medium heat. So this is where, for those new to the group, this is kind of the secret sauce um, for helping to accelerate or promote weight loss, which is we don't saute with oil. So we don't use any oil because one tablespoon of oil has about 120 calories. And, um, and, you know, if you grew up like me and sauteing with oil, you know, you'll easily throw in two or three tablespoons of oil, which adds another, you know, 240 to, you know, 360 calories that you probably, you know, just don't need. So that really by eliminating that and instead dry sauteing or sauteing with water, um, you reduce the caloric density of the overall meal. Okay, so we're preheating a large pot over medium heat. And then what we wanna do is add the onions. So I've got um, a, basically one yellow onion that I've chopped up here. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that. All right, and, and it's important to kind of preheat the pan to, I think you're on mute, Cersei. Oh, sorry. I would That's say while you do that, I wanted to show them that I'm actually using the Instapot as another way of doing this same recipe that Gigi's doing. Um, and so I'm gonna add, put my Instapot on saute. 
so that I can start sauteing the onions. I just chopped them in my food processor. So I'm going to do the other half. And then I'm going to go ahead and do the Instapot version of this. Because as you'll see with Gigi's recipe, sometimes you're in a hurry. Or if you, if you have an uh, Instapot and you're like, you know what, how can I do this in the Instapot? And so that way we'll have both, um, both kind of ways to kind of do it. And so I'm a little bit behind here. I am chopping my onions in the food processor as we speak. And then I will put mine in the um, food process. I mean, in the Instapot. So if you guys, if anybody's watching, go ahead and put, um, uh, a comment. Do you have an Instapod? Is it something that you've ever thought of? I know it's become the crave lately with the air fryer, but. Oh, and Marie's on. Hey, Marie. <laughs> All right. We got Sharon watching. Hey, Sharon. All right. So, so we just um, have the onions in there. Um, that's it. Dry onions. Okay. Yeah. So, um, so interesting about thing about jackfruit, you know, it's really low in calories, like the caloric density is like really, really low. Um, it's also pretty high in iron. Um, which is nice. And so when you add a can of chickpeas, which we'll, we'll add later, um, that also has, you know, a good source of iron in it as well. Um, so, I mean, when I think about the nutritional density and I haven't run the numbers yet. So after kind of the way we do this, just for those watching is once we kind of finalize what goes into the recipe, then I do kind of a nutritional analysis just to kind of see you know what it's looking like and so when you look at our recipes like right underneath the recipe the print friendly version of the recipe you'll see the uh, nutrition facts panel and um and what we do is we basically show you know like all the different not just you know calories and carbohydrates and protein and fiber but we also include a lot of those micronutrients as well so those vitamins and minerals so you kind of know what you're fueling your body with yeah. So how's it going over there, Cersei? You got you got the onions in there? Yeah, I got the onions in here. Okay. And our dry sauteing. Um, I do have my vegetable broth. If everything gets any sticky, I could add a little bit or water, even a tip of water. Yes. Well, yeah, this, yeah. You see, guys, it's just, you know, it's just sauteing. You don't even need the oil, you know? Yeah, that looks good. Okay, so I am getting ready to add in my garlic, celery, and bell pepper, and then I'll continue to cook a little bit longer. Um, and I'm a little bit behind here. No, oh, you're fine. I'm just chopping up these bell peppers. I'm going to put it in the food processor. Yeah. This is a little hack, guys. If you have one of these little mini choppers, if you're Those somebody nice. like me that is so lazy to chop, you know, when I'm in a rush or if I'm in a situation like this, I just use this little chopper and it kind of saves me you know, all the time of chopping. Yeah. So it looks like Sharon does have an Instapot. Marie does not. And it looks like Donna's watching as well. Hey, Donna. So let's see here. All right, so I'm gonna let mine kind of hang out and cook for, I'm gonna turn up the heat just a smidgen. Um, and uh, let it cook for another two to three minutes. And while that's cooking, I've got my rice here. And now I'm not sure how, so I've got two kinds of rice. I've got a short grain brown rice and I've got a sprouted brown rice. And the sprouted brown rice is, 
it kind of looks a little bit, it looks kind of more like a long grain or medium grain rice. So I'm going to experiment. You got jasmine? Yes, I'm going to okay. try it with the jasmine. Oh, so we have a variety. Yeah. Did you already okay. put the green peppers so in and the garlic? I'll try the sprouted. Did you already yeah, put the Yeah, I've got green the green pe peppers and okay. garlic in there. Okay, good. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And the celery. So yeah. It looks like Sharon has never. Yeah, I've got the celery in there. I, I, got, I picked up a beautiful um, a stalk of celery. Um, oh. like it's beautiful. I mean, it's just like bright green and long and fresh. And I really looked out on my, my, uh, my celery. <laughs> Yeah, but I tell you, it does make a difference when you when you have really good quality ingredients. It obviously makes a huge difference. And I mean, you could make the same thing like two days in a row, and they'll taste completely different depending on you know how you know good the quality of the ingredients are um, going into it as, as far as freshness and that sort of thing. And things that are in season, it's, it's also helpful. So um, yeah, so Sharon says, never tried jackfruit fruit. Does it have a taste or does it take on the taste of whatever it's cooking with? I think Sharon, it takes on the taste of whatever it's cooking with. Um, the reason why jackfruit is very popular is it has the texture of meat. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't, it does take on the taste of whatever you're cooking it with. I guess similar to like tofu is kind of like yeah. that as well. It definitely has like a bite to it, like a, like meat would. Yeah. All right. So it is like, it is a blank canvas in a way, definitely. Yeah. So, um, so in full disclosure, Cersei, I, um, didn't have any, I thought I had some in my Armageddon closet, some of uh, a um, 14 ounce can of tomatoes. Okay. Um, but I did have a 28 ounce can, this big guy I got. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna use half, half of those. Yeah. Yeah. What's nice about the Instapot guys is you could saute everything and, you know, it's um, everything is all in the one pot and it does cut the time down a little bit. And we'll see that when we get to actually cooking it. Yeah, anytime I saute celery, it, it, to me, it smells like Thanksgiving. So, yeah. Anyway, this is what it's looking like. Oh, yeah. Wow. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So I think, yeah, it does smell good, <laughs> Donna. <laughs> I think I'm going to add my jackfruit, tomatoes, rice, and chickpeas. That's kind of the next next step. So that's step number okay. three. Is that where okay. you're at? Are you at that point? Yeah. Well, I think yeah, I think so. It's sauteed pretty much pretty good. So now we're gonna add shredded jackfruit, tomato, rice, chickpeas. Okay. Okay. So the bay leaf and all that that go to a little later. Yeah, let's see here. Okay. Yeah. Um yeah, it goes after after this step. That's that's okay. All righty. Okay, so I got the jackfruit and rice, tomatoes, chickpeas. Go ahead and put this in here. Hope my pot's big enough. Let's see. Okay, 
got half a can of tomatoes. It's tomatoes. It goes to rice. Yeah, so jackfruit should be available in the can pretty much in most big grocery stores, but um, if not, you can definitely get it online through yeah. Amazon or something like that. Yeah, and Amazon, Walmart.com, anywhere really you yeah, guys can get it. Trader Joe's has it, has it as well. Yeah. yeah. All right. Let me measure out. I didn't measure my vegetable broth here. Let's see. You do three cups of veggie broth to cook it down, right? That's what, yeah, that's what that's what I'm asking. Yeah, because you're doing it on the stove top. But when you're using the Instapot, guys, you're going to use one to one. So if I use one cup of brown rice, which I am, I'm going to only put one cup of liquid. So the Instapot's a little different. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, and it's got, I think it's supposed to be kind of like, a, not soupy, but more soupy. Yeah, but a little more, yeah. Let's see. So you're putting your broth in now? Okay. Yeah, I'm yeah. measuring it out. So I'm gonna do three cups here, veggie broth, a bay leaf and black pepper. It's calling for, I think, a teaspoon of black pepper. So I'm, I'm just going to eyeball the black pepper here. Yeah. Okay. I love that black pepper. All right. I got my bay leaves right here okay. i bought a bit a huge like bulk container of bay leaves oh wow and cinnamon sticks big bulk container all right three bay leaves all right so it says here to um so cook with the lid a jar for 25 minutes or until rice is almost tender. All right. Okay. So while that's cooking, Cersei, I'll let you finish up. And then you wanna you wanna you wanna go ahead and play around with that peach? Yeah. Since we got some time. Yep. I know it wasn't in, for those watching, we didn't plan on the peach thing today, but um, Cersei sent me a text message um, a couple hours ago with um, a peach cobbler recipe that she made up that is super easy. Um, she said it's super, super yummy and nutritious too. So um, we'll, we'll uh, play around with that. Um, while we're waiting on the rice and stuff to cook. All right, so we got Christina watching. Hey, Christina. Yeah, I can't wait to, um, can't wait to share that eggplant recipe we were talking about earlier. Yeah, that was really, really good. Oh my goodness. Yeah, so easy. And the other thing I like about it, um, I mean, we talked about this um, as far as it being something <laughs> you can take to a picnic. Yeah. Um, or a cookout. Like if you're going somewhere and you need, you know, you want to take something healthy to the picnic, it's like this grilled eggplant um with with tomatoes and sweet peppers sweet peppers are optional but it's really the tomatoes with the eggplant and the hummus um it's just whew, it's yummy 
I'm going to the beach tomorrow. So I may try. I might bring it. And oh, have a, Take a picture of it and see yeah. how that goes. Yeah. 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 That's the nice thing about this food too, because. Um, you know, it's not like you have to keep it refrigerated. Like I remember when I used to eat things like mayonnaise and, you know, with the raw eggs and stuff that was in it, you'd have to keep stuff refrigerated or you might get, you know, food poisoning or something. But with plants, it's less of a concern um, for sure. All right. Did you put the vinegar in there? I did. I'm not supposed oh. to. No, not until. It's That's okay. Cough. That's all right. We'll we'll see what it turns out like. It may it may not be. Yeah. And I even put the seasoning in, which I, I guess I wasn't supposed to till after. Yeah, the recipe calls for adding the the Creole seasoning, the apple cider vinegar, coconut aminos, and hot sauce after. Again. The rice is cooked. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I did it the opposite way, guys. So this is experimental. We'll see what happens. <laughs> All right. So go ahead, I guess, and just go ahead. I'll just go ahead and cook it. Okay. All right. So make sure I have everything in there as I'm not reading this description properly. Okay. Yeah. And I think the fresh parsley is for at, well, like when you're getting ready to serve it. Yeah, that I want that one I figured out, but I guess the other ones I, I lost it. So I guess I probably wouldn't add any seasoning, but we'll see how it tastes if I need to add any more. Yeah. Um, yeah. It may not right. be a big deal. So we'll see. Yeah. All right. So I have my Instapot set for 22 minutes. Um, and it could be done. Okay. Okay. So you're gonna so, walk me through the peach thing, right? In terms of the peach, okay. So I have some peaches here. I'm just gonna um, take the seeds out. These ones I have are really juicy, so I'm wondering. Oof. Peaches are really juicy, guys, and it's like sometimes it could really. Um, you're just cutting it in half, right, Cersei? I'm just cutting it in half. Yep. Okay. And then I'm going to get a little bowl. Um, and you're going to go ahead and put um, like two tablespoons. I like mine very crusty. So. Mm -hmm. um, I think I'm gonna make mine a little heavy handed in the crusty part, but you just put a couple tablespoons of um, oatmeal. And I don't know, did you already have okay. the date syrup already? And then what I did guys, is I just soaked a few dates, as you can see right here. I just soaked a few dates in warm, hot water, and then I just blended it out and it came into this date syrup. That's it, just the warm oh, water. So two two, two dates and how it. much water? I did four, oh, four dates to, yeah, to, um, let me tell you. I did four dates to, let me tell you how much this is. I just have to recreate this again. To about half a cup of water. I just had to remeasure my cup. Half a cup of water, okay. Yeah. All right. And then what I find, guys, if it's too watery for you, what I, I actually mm -hmm. was a little bit too watery, so it could be a little less than half. I just threw another date in there, I think. I, so I ended up with five dates, I think, because it was a little watery. So okay. do, do a little bit under right. half. And then, okay. so I did two tablespoons of the oats, and then I'm going to do one tablespoon of the date syrup. Okay. And then I'm just gonna sprinkle it with some cinnamon. So you could eyeball it, you know, you just kind of just dabble some cinnamon in it and see how that looks, guys. So pretty much it's just oats, the dates they're up, and some cinnamon, right? Okay. 
And then what you're gonna do is just stuff your peach. You're gonna go ahead and stuff your peach. Okay. I'm gonna get my air little, fryer out. Yeah, there should be a little bit of an indent in your peach when you take out that seed. So it'll be perfect to just stuff it, All right? I'm just gonna make one more because I already had one. So one whole peach already. Um, you stuff that peach just like that. I don't know if you guys could see me, but yeah, do you see that? I just stuffed the peach. Oh, see how okay. juicy the peach is? It's so juicy. Um, and then I put it right in the air fryer. Just like that. Oh, or you can put it yeah. in the oven. It could be oven or air fryer 360 for about 15 to 20 minutes. Okay. All right, so I got some oats. So whenever I'm recipe testing, I have to make enough for everybody because yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yep, and then I just have this in the fridge, guys. I have my leftover peaches that I already um, have, and I have them in the fridge. And then what I want, if I feel for a little sweet treat, I just make them right, you know, right on the spot. Nice. All right, I'm gonna put this. Who doesn't love peach cobbler for the summer? I bet it's no. I I'm in Georgia, guys, so I, I have know. no choice, right? I'm in the, the, the heart of the peaches. And so I'm so glad <laughs> that I have this recipe because I am going to really, it's so nice to eat in season. I'm telling you, this peach cobbler is going to be my dessert for the summer. I mean, it might even, yeah. be, it could even be my breakfast. I'm not going to lie, but this is going to be my treat. Because you, what, do you, uh -huh. what is it, guys? It's literally dates, oats, and a peach. And a little yeah. bit of cinnamon on top. Where's yeah, the guilt? Yeah. You could totally make that into like an oatmeal though yeah. too, right? I mean, yeah, that could be an oatmeal. Like, it could be an oatmeal. Exactly. You could actually. oatmeal. Yeah. That might even be nice. A peach cobbler oatmeal bake. That might be another yeah. recipe to play around with. Yeah. Because it's, it's really nice. Just slice the peaches, put them on the bottom of the pan and then put the crust all the way, put it in the oven so that you have it for the whole week for the family. Yeah. There's so many ways Ooh, to do it, guys. Woo. Like good. while it's in peach season, you have to eat while the harvest is out. You know what I'm saying? That's so. right. You got that right. So I'm getting my dates together. Okay. So any questions anyone actually yeah, does anybody anybody else love peaches as much as we do? <laughs> mm. Well, how ripe is your peach, Gigi? Because I'm trying to gauge this recipe, and the peaches that I picked um, mm. are are really wet, ripe and soft. Are yours more of a hard texture, right? Well, I've got I've got one of each, so I'll try them out. This one is like super ripe. It's so ripe, it's almost a little mushy. This one yeah. is, I think, appropriately ripe. Um, yeah. So do both because I wanted. Yeah. I was gonna actually go back to the store and get the more of the harder texture, right? Yeah. Because I wanted to see how that one kind of did it. But now that you're gonna do it, it, it will just give me the the answer today before I go back and get yeah. some more peaches. Yeah, because okay. I'm loading up on the peaches, guys. I'm not kidding right now. I'm going to be loading up on the peaches. <laughs> <laughs> Going best on peaches. 
That's yeah. awesome. All right, I got my dates soaking here in some hot water. Yeah, Donna loves her peaches. Mm. Mm -hmm. And your uh, date syrup. What's that? Uh, how did you make? How did you mix your date syrup in a blender or food processor? Um, actually, I used my NutriBullet, that little container that you see. I just oh, put it in my NutriBullet okay. and I just blended it and kept it in the actual container um, because I felt like it was so little okay. bit. I didn't want to get a blender involved, so I used my NutriBullet. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, I'm gonna just use my blender. I don't, I don't have a neutral bullet. I used okay. to have one, but yeah, I had that one from back it? in the day, and um, yeah, it comes in handy for these little jobs, you know, where you don't want to get the blender involved. Yeah. So, but yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go on mute because uh, so I'm not making okay. a bunch of racket. Okay. All right. I can smell it coming from the Instapot guys and um, it's smelling really nice. Yeah, so the, I think the hard work with this recipe, it's not so much that it's hard, but you gotta like prep. You know, you got to chop up a few things, but once that part is over with, as you can see, it's just really just letting it do its thing and just cook. Um, and, you know, all the hard part is over because as you can see, um, you know, we're doing something in between. So the hard part is really done. It's now just waiting for it to like cook. So. All right. Okay. Oh, that smells good. Yeah. Cinnamon with the oats and the date syrup. Yep, oats, dates, and cinnamon. Easy. So that, Easy like peach. a five ingredient recipe. Yeah. Like peaches, oats, cinnamon. Four. Dates, four ingredients. Yeah, four ingredients. Four ingredients, you got yourself an instant dessert. Um, and like I said, guys, when I tried it, it just, my brain just triggered peach cobbler. Like it had no different sensation from when I used to eat peach cobbler that was filled with syrup, sugar, butter. Um, yep. God knows what else. And, you know, I have memories of that. And so, Honestly, my brain just said peach gobbler and that was it. And that's just how delicious it is. And you don't have all of the other things that you really don't need that makes it unhealthy, which is like I said, the loads of butter, sugar, syrup, um, flour, processed white flowers, all of yes. that. You don't, you, you bypass all of that. And to tell you the truth, what you could even do guys is if you get a big sheet of pan, let's just say you buy you know, you're doing it for your whole family, for the barbecue or something. You buy a whole bunch of peaches, cut them in half and just roll them all into the pan in a sh baking sheet, line them up, stuff them all and put pop them all in the oven at the same time. Bam. You know what I mean? So it, even in appearance, it will look like a peach cobbler. You know, like when you go to the grocery store and you see how they have the cupcake cakes. But when you look at it from the from the onset, it looked a sheet of cake, but you're not pulling each individual cupcake away from the cake. That's what this will be. It will look like a, a pan sheet of peach cobbler, but you'll just pull each section out like a cupcake, which will be each person serving. So you could get so creative and make this so pretty and so delicious for your family. And they'll be like, wow. Mm. Oh, good. I'm just eating the oat topping. <laughs> yeah. That's good. Mm. OK. 
So, you know, you inspired me to get an air fryer, Cersei. Yeah. <laughs> I inspired like a few of my friends because I talk about this. Oh, it's the air fryer. What's in the air fryer? They're like, okay, I'm getting this air fryer, you know? Yeah. <laughs> so, a girlfriend of mine that never gets gadgets, she's like anti kitchen gadget. Like, I'm like gadget galore, and she's total opposite of me. Like, doesn't want to get any gadgets. And she broke down and got the air fryer and the Instapot. So, yeah, uh, yeah. I, ha I had the Instapot from when I lived in Mississippi, but I wasn't but it was really put away, it. but it was put away in some secret yeah. spot. So at least you got it out. I got it out and my um, slow cooker too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So are you eating the toppy? Yeah. <laughs> the rest of it. I'm not... peaches, girl. I did. Stop They're in there. Peaches. Okay. I, I made too many oats. So. Okay. So you did, how many That's did you right. do all six? Did you do all six of the peaches or only three? No, there, there were just two peaches. So I have Oh, four. so you only have four. You did all four. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah. So one for everyone. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's all right. I had a good bike ride, so. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Carleen. Carleen's on. Hey. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna check my jambalaya. Let me see what. Okay. Looks. Yeah, the tricky thing with the Instapot is you really can't check it until it's done because yeah. of the pressure. How's it looking? Looks good. It's still cooking though. Yeah, it still has another. I think about. I think about eight minutes. Eight, 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 eight minutes? Eight I think it has eight more minutes left. Oh, 25 it. before you add the seasoning. So I had to add all my stuff in anyway, because how would I do this? The only thing I didn't add was the hot sauce. So I'm yeah. probably going to have to add that in, in the end. I'll probably just sprinkle it in the end and stir it in, which is fine. So I guess it's yeah. kind of good that I put that all in there because I can't really stop it and then redo it. So mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. So, so, um, we uh, do we want to talk about Iron Chef. <laughs> oh yeah. I, yeah. We're going to be on Chef AJ's show guys on, I think it's August the 7th and 12, we're going to be 12. doing 12. Sorry guys. Um, and we're going to be doing an Iron Chef competition. So Gigi's going to have her basket, which I guess she's going to give us the ingredients. We buy it. And then we're going to have to just mysteriously, like, just like the show, create recipes for whatever is in the box. Like, I'm kind of nervous because, I don't know, I'm nervous about it a little bit. <laughs> I am, but you know what? I mean, it's like one of those things where, um, yeah, I'm nervous too because I'm competitive and I'm like, oh, I, I want to win. But at the same time, I'm like, it doesn't matter if I win or lose, I still win. <laughs> You're going to you win, know. Gigi, because I think you're better with creativity and the food. I think you're going to already win. No, but you never sure. know. Unless they put something random in there, like a can of Aki, then I know I got you. But other than that, <laughs> <laughs> you know, something <laughs> off the beaten path of your, your reality, then I'm like, I got her. But other than that, you know, you're you're more creative in that area. So we'll see what happens. You're you're going in as the top dog. So I'm, I'm the underdog going in right now. Something so random. Like Gigi's like, oh, what's this? Hilarious. Then I got you. But uh, if it's, if it's, a, if it's stuff that, you know, regular <laughs> run of the mill, Gigi's going in as the top dog, guys. I'm going in as the underdog, and then we'll see what happens. <laughs> uh, and then how, I wonder how she's going to judge that, like, because she can't taste it, you know? Yeah. I think it's just going to be more for the fun and the creativity of what, how you, whatever you put together. So it's going to be more what, of what did you what come up with? Like. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that'll be fun though. Either way, yeah. it'll be fun. 
I'm looking forward and to I it. Think, and the thing is too, cooking under pressure where you have a clock, guys. I think that's oh, yeah. where it's going to really um, flat things. Because it's one thing if you're cooking in the kitchen, you're like, oh, what can I do here? What can I do there? Pull up yeah. Google, do this. There's no Google. You're under the clock. So it's, you know, I always right. wondered how those people operated. You're going to be going to, to and fro, you know? I wonder yeah. if we're allowed to have a sous chef. Maybe you could bring your husband in. I could bring Kelsey in. <laughs> we have a sous chef, you know? Because they always have somebody. You, you, would definitely, you would have the advantage there, uh, Cersei, with Kelsey. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get the cute factor. That would be my, uh, well, my, no, my just, secret weapon, you know? Skill, skill set. And then there, there wouldn't be any, there wouldn't be any arguing. Like you're yeah. doing it wrong. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh my God. That's, That's funny. Yeah. But um, <clears throat> yeah, it'll be fun. I mean, it, I think, I think you're right. It's under the clock and then everybody's watching you. It's like, they're watching you do it. And so yes. it's going to yes. be like, you're going to have to, I'm going to have to get my zone. Just yes. pretend like nobody's watching and go fast. Exactly. Yeah. My air fryer went off, but I'm going to actually put it on for five more minutes to give it an extra crispiness this time just to see the difference. Okay. All right, cool. I've got, uh, I still got about nine minutes on mine, so I'll let it continue on. I'm gonna check my jumble again. Mm -hmm. Looks pretty. Can you? <laughs> Marie, can you ask Suri? <laughs> What's that? Oh, yeah, there's no asking Zuri. Yeah, I don't think or... there's going to be any asking of the Zuri or the Alexa. <laughs> no, you can't. There will be nothing. Alexa, what can I make? No. I know. No Google, no nothing. It's just going to be, I'm just curious. what. And they usually put some things in there that make no sense. That's the catch. They trick you up. They, they're not going to put yeah. like ingredients that obviously go together they always put a few wild cards in there so you're like what do i yeah. do with this sometimes you don't even know what the thing is yeah. like chop like on the, that's the, the other piece chop. yeah 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 well, some people have opened their basket and they're like what is this they don't even know what the actual vegetable is and yeah. so now you're really getting creative because you really got to just taste it see mm -hmm. yeah yeah, I'll have to, that morning, I'll have to get up and have my green smoothie and do Pilates before, yeah. before we get started. Yeah, <laughs> Just be, <laughs> yeah it's going to be interesting. That'll be fun. It'll be fun. So when you set your Instapot timer, how long did you set it for? 22 minutes. So I have 10 minutes 20. left and the whole thing is done. Okay. Yeah. All right. So I've got, yeah, I think I've got like about two or three two minutes two minutes i think i think i put it in at 2 30 my time so no are you playing no. um i'm playing cats together and cats drink milk no okay. but i'm hey. still gonna drink the milk i just want to hey kelsey say hi hi mm -hmm. hey <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm not giving you milk to eat like a cat. Please, please, please. No. Nope. I'll get it myself. No. Can you drink water out of a bowl? Could you drink water out of a bowl? Yes. But I'm worried, Kelsey. If it's a mess, you're getting all in that room. I hope you're not in the room. You are in the room, but. Because that's where. But, like, I'm not going to spill anything. Yeah. Tiny. That's good enough. And it's not drinking water. Mm. I want drinking water. <laughs> oh man. So I've got I've got six minutes left on my air fryer. Okay. Mine is done, yeah. so I'm still letting it sit in there. Okay. All right. And we've got um, I think my jambalaya is ready for the next set of seasonings. So I'm going to add the Creole seasoning, apple cider vinegar, coconut aminos, and hot sauce. Now they didn't have the Louisiana hot sauce, um, 
Mm. So we'll be in a brand at my store. So I've just got some Frank's Red Hot. It just has um, cayenne yeah. pepper, vinegar, um, water, salt, and garlic powder. Which one is that? Oh. Is that one? What's in, what's, oh, Red what's Hot. Red? Okay, Louisiana. Yeah. yeah. yeah well, we have, have a that. thing in the house. Huh? Yeah. See, my mom is, we, we, we have the, um, the scotch bonnet pepper sauce, yeah. Tabasco, and then this. So, and there's another one. I can't remember what it is. My mom's a Yeah, hot, we're in Louisiana. Well, at least like my this. husband is. He swears this is the only hot sauce that people should eat. So he's big on this. We always have that. Um, okay. Even though I usually get, sometimes I get um, another one. I think crystals or other ones, but. He's big on this Louisiana, so I always had it. Always have it. All right, so that smells good. All right, so I got the cayenne. I got, let me put the apple cider vinegar. I think it's a teaspoon. Yeah, a teaspoon of apple mm -hmm. cider vinegar and a teaspoon of coconut amino. Yeah. Okay, so then it says cook for another um, 10 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes. Okay. Until uh, rice is tender. So uh, my rice is coming along nicely. Okay, perfect. And then you'll get to try the peach cobbler in between. So that'd be nice. Yeah. Oh, this is exciting. <laughs> so glad you played around with that. I wanted to add more dessert recipes because we only have a couple right now. Yeah. Especially with um, with the seasonal fruit and everything. Yeah. It's good to yeah. Add those as go. So, all right. So Marie, um, I think you mentioned that you made this already. Oh. Let's see. She said this, she started cooking early. So, okay. So Mar okay. Marie, are you done with yours yet? Did you beat us to the punch? <laughs> so we'll let her respond. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, so I went, um, our local restaurant here had some live entertainment outside. So I went and did that yeah. before went live here today it was really nice oh wow nice she said, she said her jambalaya is ready she's just waiting for us so she has a <laughs> nice All okay right. at least we didn't taste it so that's good you waited So you said you're going to the beach tomorrow? Yeah, I am. I'm going to the beach tomorrow. So I think I'm going to pack that eggplant thing and see how that goes there. How far is the beach from where you live? Um, there's several of them, but the closest is about maybe 30 minutes or 25, 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. All right. And you're kind of like on the Atlantic side, right? The Atlantic Ocean side. Is that kind of? Yeah. Cause this is like the all of coastal Georgia. So it goes all along the coast. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. 
yeah, we've got a little beach here called Crescent Beach, but the water mm -hmm. is cold. It's like, you know, up here, it's like the water is, you have to wear a wetsuit if you're going to go in there and swim. I mean, oh. like, I think the kids have a higher tolerance for the cold than, you know, us adults. Yeah. And, um, especially us middle-aged adults. And yeah. so I just, it's just so cold um, to get your, your whole body in there. Yeah. And then like a whole lot of like different sea creatures and I'm just, I'm oh, not wow. sure. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. Cause there's like, I could go, there's Jacksonville beaches or several that way. But then there's a lot of breaches in Brunswick, St. Simon Island, um, so Fernandina Beach. So there's we've got so many going either side. So, so they're all within 30, some of them 40, depending. But there's a whole bunch to choose from, which is kind of nice. OK, cool. Yeah, mm -hmm. I've got um, Kevin's celebrating his birth. We're celebrating his birthday tomorrow. Yeah. So what are you guys going to do? Well, since you asked, I put an agenda together. <laughs> oh, are you serious? <laughs> really? Like what? Well, I did that because when he was like, I said, what do you want for your birthday? And he had it already thought out. He said, I want to take my measurements. I want to, um, I want to have some coffee and go for a walk around Mountain Lake. I want oh, to eat. Wow. I want to have a nice big breakfast. I'm going to make like a tofu scramble thing. Yeah. I want to watch TV. I want to work out at the studio. I want wow. to, I want to um, have, you know, spaghetti for dinner. So I've got this, you know, whole wheat spaghetti pasta with mushrooms, yeah. peppers and onions that he loves. I, the secret is putting fennel seed in it, by the way. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. want some banana nice cream for, you know, dessert. Oh, wow. Yeah, so we've got it. I, so that's what I've I've got it all planned out here for him. So we oh make wow, sure we get everything he wants to do. <laughs> Kevin is like, I thought you'd never ask. Like he already has already plans. So that's nice. That's nice. So yeah, so that's what he, that's what's going on with him. All right, so let me look at my pieces. yeah. My Instapot went off, but I'll give it a few minutes to to um. Yeah, mine got a little little extra crispy. I don't know if I- Okay, that's okay. That's okay. Yeah, but it looks good. Ooh, it smells good too. But I'll try to pull one out so I can show you. Let's see. All right, let's see. I'll put it up. So this is what one of them looks like. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah, I get what you're saying. It's extra crispy. I guess it depends on the air fryer, but you could have probably did less, but just taste yeah. it and see. Mm. Oh, hot. I'm going to cut it. Yeah, I'll take mine out and see. Do you like peach cobbler? Do you like peach cobbler? Uh, All right. Let's see. Can you try it? Let's see. All right, this is mine, guys. So I guess the temperature is a little different. Mm -hmm. mm. And I did mine for 17 minutes. So it depends on the air fryer. How is it? It is delicious. Isn't what? it? Oh my gosh. It is phenomenal. And I love what I love about these peaches too, that I don't know the peach cobblers I've had, probably haven't had them right. I think maybe they've used canned peaches i've never personally made a peach cobbler oh no 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 the ones in but here in georgia this is real peach <laughs> but yeah well <laughs> that's true no we don't but we the, don't do um, canned peaches over here yeah no it's probably but isn't that delicious probably like, oh my gosh yeah there's phenomenal. a peach police 
And that, I'm glad you're thinking, because when I ate it, I was like, oh my goodness, this is so delicious. So it's nice to get the feedback to see. Yeah, this is delicious. And I love, yeah, we'll see what your mom and Kevin says too, but that is so, I don't know. To me, I, my mind just thought peach cobbler instantly. Yes, yes. You got the juiciness. Yes. Let me try this again, even though I already had one already, but I'm going to go ahead and have another piece. Look at that. Look at that, guys juiciness kind of gives you that crusty mm -hmm. peach cobbler feel mm. nobody can't tell me this is not a peach cobbler guys this is delicious this is excellent Cersei. and so easy mm -hmm. and like i said it's something you could bake a whole bunch of them in the oven i'm gonna try you it know? i'm gonna try, yeah, I'm try gonna it in the oven yeah the oven this. might even be better. The oven might even be better because it will caramel like caramelize them even more. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. So the oven may even be better. So try it in the oven. I'm gonna try it in the oven too because I'm gonna make some more of them as well. Mm. But it's delicious. It is amazing. But you're right. It has that peach cobbler triggering like triggering. effect. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think my jambalaya is ready. <laughs> Marie's I like, think my, my, yeah. mine is already, mine is already ready. I could just unrelease this thing. Let's see. Marie said her mouth is watering. Carlene says yum. Yeah. There you go, guys. Oh, the uh, Venetia Hood. Um, she said, where can I get the recipe? Um, so we are recipe testing. So I, we can mm -hmm. send, we can get you the draft recipe, or when we get ready to publish it, we'll um, tag you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Just uh, or if you can subscribe to um, DanielsPlate.com, mm -hmm. we'll that and other recipes that we um, release. So, including the peach, the peach cobbler. Yeah. Yeah, yeah mm -hmm. I'm gonna get some more of these peaches tested in the oven. Um, and uh yeah mm -hmm. it's delicious mm -hmm. okay. all right so now for the jambalaya mm -hmm. <laughs> let's see we get a bowl i'm just gonna get a little bowl I'm gonna have to put the hot sauce in mine. Mm. All right, so this is my jambalaya. Let's see. Mm. Mine is still releasing, so give me a second. Let me pop up some parsley. Mm, that was so good. All right. It's really hot. I got to let it cool down for a minute. Yeah, give me a second too, because I got to get mine out. It's just having to release. Having to release. Now how much hot sauce goes in there? A teaspoon, a tablespoon, okay. Yeah, a teaspoon and then more to taste, I think. Let's see. Hmm, interesting. Do this and stir my hot sauce in here. Well, Marie, let, let us know after you've tasted yours. supposed to be a little bit wet, I'm guessing. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm putting a little bit in the bowl here, guys. Yeah. Okay. How is it? It's good, but you, I don't think you need to add any salt. I didn't add any salt. Yeah, I have on there salt to taste, but I don't think. Oh, okay. Mm. I do want some more hot sauce, though. 
just a little more kick. Yeah. Oh, Marie says yum, and Joe approved. <laughs> Her husband. Mm. Good. Yeah, this is good, guys. At the Instapot, it worked, even with adding all those ingredients in it. I still would leave the hot sauce till last mm -hmm. because it gives it that fresh hot sauce feel. Mm -hmm. mm. It's good. It's good. Yeah, mm. and then the, the jackfruit just gives it that. Mm -hmm. That pulled porky kind of feel. Yeah, mouth feel. Mm, very nice. Mm. Or pulled chicken or whatever. It just gives you a meaty texture. Um, see how mine is kind of soupy a little bit like yours like not soupy but so yeah, the right. ratio is correct the one to one with the instant pot okay if you yeah. can't do three it would overtake it mm. so yeah good all right we got jambalaya cooking here my goodness this is really good mm. So I'll have to figure out, I'm thinking this makes about four servings is kind of what- oh, Yeah, have. definitely, definitely four servings. Mm. Mm. That's good. Mm -hmm. I don't know if Louisiana hot sauce has any difference to it, but, but it's good, it's really good. Okay. So we ate our peaches first and now we're having our jumbo. <laughs> mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And guys, this is what the good thing about a whole food plant-based diet is that you can eat your dessert first and it doesn't disrupt mm -hmm. the flow of the healthy eating. A lot yeah. of times when you're eating the mainstream diet, you eat your diet first. It's like you've eaten the most high, highest caloric Mm -hmm. no nutrient before you even touched your main meal it kind of disrupts the rhythm of your of your meal mm -hmm. but in this case as you guys can see we had dessert first mm -hmm. and the jambalaya and it doesn't disrupt anything there's just such a harmony and a unity when you're eating real food guys that you can't you 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 can't buy that for a million bucks it's just yep. it just you know what i'm saying Gigi? yep Yep, it just does your That's, body. Yeah, this is so delicious. I'm not gonna. This is delicious. Mm -hmm. It's just the right amount amount of um, like soupiness or 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 you know sauciness. That's probably a better word. Without mm -hmm. it's not dry. The rice is just flake like it's flakyish enough. Like it's not sticky. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's delicious. It's filling. It's not because you've got the chickpeas and the brown. Yeah. So lots of protein in this. Um, I use the, the jasmine rice for this one. It's very flaky. It's nice. Mm -hmm. mm. All mm, right. Very nice. This is good. Yeah. Any questions? Any comments? Yeah. Mm. Let us know if you have any questions. We'll get um, we'll get this published um i'm not sure when but we'll we'll let you know when we do um mm -hmm. but if you want to test the the one if you want to try the one that we, we've tested here today it's in your um mailbox your email so check your email um and there's a link to access this recipe that we tested here today so um and again it's from it's a modified version of the jambalaya in the sweet potatoes soul cookbook. Mm -hmm. So we uh, made it a little more figure friendly. So <laughs> yeah, this is really delicious. This was a good meal. Mm -hmm. This is a very good meal. Mm. All right, y'all. Uh, well, we're, we're going to sit here and smack in front of you. I know. <laughs> But so we'll see you next time. Yeah, <laughs> thanks for thanks for watching. Okay, bye bye.